Inflation. In economics, inflation is a general increase in the prices of goods and services in an economy. When the general price level rises, each unit of currency buys fewer goods and services, consequently, inflation corresponds to a reduction in the purchasing power of money. The opposite of inflation is deflation, a sustained decrease in the general price level of goods and services. The Topic Inflation in Overview Deflation In economics, deflation is a decrease in the general price level of goods and services. Deflation occurs when the inflation rate falls below 0%, a negative inflation rate. Inflation reduces the value of currency over time, but sudden deflation increases it. This allows more goods and services to be bought than before with the same amount of currency. Economic Problem Economic systems as a type of social system must confront and solve the three fundamental economic problems, what kinds and quantities of goods shall be produced, how much and which of alternative goods and services shall be produced. Stagflation In economics, stagflation or recession inflation is a situation in which the inflation rate is high the economic growth rate slows, and unemployment remains steadily high. It presents a dilemma for economic policy, since actions intended to lower inflation may exacerbate unemployment. The Topic Deflation in Overview The Great Deflation The Great Deflation or the Great Sag refers to the period from 1870 until 1890 in which the world prices of goods, materials, and labor decreased, although at a low rate of less than 2% annually. This was one of the few sustained periods of deflationary growth in the history of the United States. Debt Deflation Debt deflation is a theory that recessions and depressions are due to the overall level of debt rising in real value because of deflation, causing people to default on their consumer loans and mortgages. Bank assets fall because of the defaults and because the value of their collateral falls, leading to a surge in bank insolvencies, a reduction in lending and by extension, a reduction in spending. The theory was developed by Irving Fisher following the Wall Street crash of 1929 and the ensuing Great Depression. The Topic Economic Problem in Overview Economic System An economic system, or economic order, is a system of production, resource allocation, and distribution of goods and services within a society or a given geographic area. It includes the combination of the various institutions, agencies, entities, decision-making processes and patterns of consumption that comprise the economic structure of a given community. An economic system is a type of social system. Globalization Globalization, or globalization, Commonwealth English, see spelling differences, is the process of interaction and integration among people, companies, and governments worldwide. Globalization has accelerated since the 18th century due to advances in transportation and communications technology. This increase in global interactions has caused a growth in international trade and the exchange of ideas, beliefs, and culture. The Topic Economic System in Overview Socialist Economics Socialist economics comprises the economic theories, practices, and norms of hypothetical and existing socialist economic systems. A socialist economic system is characterized by social ownership and operation of the means of production that may take the form of autonomous cooperatives or direct public ownership wherein production is carried out directly for use rather than for profit. Economic Globalization Economic globalization is one of the three main dimensions of globalization commonly found in academic literature, with the two others being political globalization and cultural globalization, as well as the general term of globalization. The Topic Globalization in Overview Anti-Globalization Movement The Anti-Globalization Movement or Counter-Globalization Movement is a social movement critical of economic globalization. The movement is also commonly referred to as the Global Justice Movement, Alter-Globalization Movement, Anti-Globalist Movement, Anti-Corporate Globalization Movement, or Movement Against Neoliberal Globalization. The Topic Stagflation in Overview Differential accumulation Differential accumulation is an approach for analyzing capitalist development in crisis, tying together mergers and acquisitions, stagflation, and globalization as integral facets of accumulation. The concept has been developed by Jonathan Nitzan and Shimshon Beichler. Recession In economics, 
A recession is a business cycle contraction when there is a general decline in economic activity. Recessions generally occur when there is a widespread drop in spending, an adverse demand shock. This may be triggered by various events, such as a financial crisis, an external trade shock, an adverse supply shock, the bursting of an economic bubble, or a large-scale anthropogenic or natural disaster, e.g. The Topic Recession in Overview Great Recession The Great Recession was a period of marked general decline, i.e. a recession, observed in national economies globally that occurred between 2007 and 2009. The scale and timing of the recession varied from country to country, see map. At the time, the International Monetary Fund, IMF, concluded that it was the most severe economic and financial meltdown since the Great Depression. COVID-19 Recession The COVID-19 recession is a global economic recession caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. The recession began in most countries in February 2020. 1973 to 1975 recession the 1973 to 1975 recession or 1970s recession was a period of economic stagnation in much of the western world during the 1970s putting an end to the overall post world war ii economic expansion it differed from many previous recessions by being a stagflation where high unemployment and high inflation existed simultaneously